Hi, I'm Maggie Wilder, and welcome to In the Moment. The National Conservatory of Dramatic Arts wants to fill your actor's toolbox. And today, we'll be talking about rhythm. Rhythm is the chosen pace at which a scene is performed, and one of the quickest ways to draw attention to an important moment is by breaking that rhythm. But um You got a problem with what I'm saying, Larry? Untie your tongue and you come out here and talk, huh? Am I upsetting you, princess? You know, you want a prediction about the weather. You're asking the wrong Phil. I'll give you a, a winter prediction. It's gonna be cold, it's gonna be gray, and it's gonna last you for the rest of your life. Today, we're gonna talk about two tools that can help you control the rhythm of the scene. Speed and air. Take a look at this clip from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. You see, that joke is delivered on the rhythm of slow, slow, fast. The setup is delivered slowly, while the punchline is delivered fast. But there are plenty of ways to use speed to highlight a moment. Doing a scene at a specific rhythm builds tension inside the audience. The audience doesn't know it, but they're just along for the ride. So when you suddenly shift gears, they feel that moment the strongest. Bum, 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 bum. What are you, a fucking acapella group? Play the goddamn kit! Ah. Now answer my question. Were you rushing or were you dragging? Answer! Rushing. This is the moment in Whiplash where Terrence Fletcher breaks Andrew. The rhythm of the scene was fast, but then they switched it to slow to signal our focus and highlighted the tear with air. But the thing about air is you have to earn it. You can't constantly pause during a scene thinking that everything is important, but when used effectively, silence is golden. I lost my hand! I lost my bride! Johnny has his hand! Johnny has his bride! You want me to take my heartbreak, put it away and forget? Just a matter of time before a man opens his eyes and gives up his one dream, his one dream of happiness. In this famous scene from Moonstruck, Nicolas Cage keeps the rhythm at an extremely high pace, ratcheting up the tension. Because of that tension, he earns the silence that follows, which allows the audience a brief window to see how much everyone yearns for the old Ronnie back. And you can use rhythm in the opposite way. In this scene from Silence of the Lambs, Jodie Foster's character maintains the rhythm of the scene in order to not show that her character has noticed something important. Here's that number. Very good, Mr. Gordon. May I use your phone, please? Sure, you can use my phone. Come here. You can make 10,000 choices with rhythm that surprise and appeal to even the most jaded audiences. Rose? I'm lucky. Even the sun will die someday. But we are divine. We are the gods trapped in cocoons. Rose. I don't know where they are. Rose! Rose! Rose, give me those keys! Rose, give me, give me those keys. Rose, now! Now, the keys! Bottom line, don't put your audience to sleep. Because if you forget about the rhythm, the rhythm is gonna get ya. The next time you're in a scene that requires a change of pace, 
play with the rhythm until you find what feels true. In the moment. Until next time, I'm Maggie Wilder.